Salam Africa, Salam Ulum Ethiopia. So c'est tout. Salam. Today I want to talk one thing very important. What is happening in Ethiopia now? In Ethiopia, they are have war in this moment. Very big war. War between two brothers. War be between brothers. Brothers who live in Ethiopia. They have war in Africa. You know? This is the responsibility of the United Nations. This is the responsibility of the UA. This is the responsibility of every citizen who live in Africa. Because Ethiopia, it is our motherland. Ethiopia, it is the Ixiaber country. It is God country. Ethiopia, it is only country never be colonized in the world, in Africa. So, today, how we have war in Ethiopia? I don't want to talk about this war. Because this is political system. I want to talk about which people. We people who live in Addis today, we can say we are in peace. No, we are not in peace. We are in another kind of war. If you see the life in Ethiopia, start to come very, very, very difficult. The poverty starts to be very dangerous. If you see everything now, it is expensive. The bread, uh, everything, gas, everything, it is expensive now. So, every people who live in Addis, now, they must understand, we must work hard. We must understand, we must work hard now, because we are in war. And if you are in war, your responsibility, it is work for peace. It is work hard, because a lot of brother and sister, they are going to war for us. They say, they go to defend their country, right? I don't take them the reason, okay? It is good. But, and we, and we, now we, we are in Ethiopia, we are in Addis. What is our responsibility? That is my big question. What is this, our responsibility? Our responsibility, it is work hard every day. Work, help, help together. Help, work as citizens for the development of our country. I invite everybody to become together with me to give one voice for Africa, the peace voice. In war, we will never have win. We will lost. So, in the two sides must be, must have this con conscience, must have this responsibility. When, so, we are in war. If you are in war, you must be active. Your life will be changed, or you want, or you don't want. But your wife, your life, he will change. Because the life will be not the same. So, I call all brother, Rastafarian brother, who come from Ethiopia to live, come. We must work together for the peace. If you know something, you can share. You can share. If you know English, you can share. If you know carpenter, you can share. If you know agriculture, you can share. So, what are you doing, my brother? What are you doing in Ethiopia? And you, my Ethiopian brother, what are you doing in this moment? It is very important every time put this question because now you are in war so when you are in war you are a soldier so you must work you must talk for the peace
you must help your community. You must support more, more, more your family. You must give children the real understanding about what has happened. What has happened? It is general control of the world. If you see the big, the big country, they are selling the guns. They are selling the bomb. They are. They will become more, more, more rich in this war. So all Africa it is in this war in this moment. All Africa it is in war. If you see, they don't tell you the truth. They didn't tell you the truth. Never, never. Maybe in the city, in Africa city, have peace. But if we, you see, in every countryside, Africa countryside, have problem. But they don't say you. Why have this kind of problem? That is the question. The problem in Africa, he came from colonization. If you see, all Africa, it is colonized. But Ethiopia is not colonized. That is very good point. What I want you to know. See, for example, in Tigray region, they start, for example, when Italian came. When Italian came, he put division. He make buzu bad thing. You know? He take Eritrea, all region, you know? Somali, you know? Djibouti take by French. So, they divide us. And today, we see this consequence. That's why I say, Ethiopia, it is our motherland. He never be colonized. He give us the victory. So, if you see, in Ethiopia, in Ethiopia, we have the responsibility to give Fakr to give salam, to give peace for Africa. That it is the point. That is the very big point. Do you know it? Did you know it? Did you know Ethiopia have the responsibility to give the peace for the world? Did you know it? Do you remember in the UA Foundation in 1963? Did you remember when 32 country, Africa country, come here, come here, Ethiopia, to talk about the peace. What are you, what, what we are doing? What we are doing in Ethiopia? Ethiopia, it is mother of Ethiopia. It is mother of Ethiopia. Ethiopia, it is the mother of Africa people. So every people must understand this. Ethiopia is not only Ethiopia. Ethiopia, it is Africa. Ethiopia, it is world. Ethiopia, it is the base. It is origin. That's why Ethiopia, it is never be colonized. That's why Ethiopia, it is never be colonized. Why? Because have one reason. It is mystical reason. Yes, it is mystical reason. So, why Ethiopia, it is never be colonized? Why? Why? That is my point. That is my point. Why Ethiopia is never be colonized? Ethiopia is never, never colonized because God, Igziaber, have one mission for us. This mission, it is now, it is in this moment, it is called us, it is called us for come in the truth. And it, Ullum so, Ullum sit, Sra, Buzu, 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 Ethiopia will develop. Buzu, Buzu, Fakal. Buzu, Buzu, Salam. I'm a Saganalo. Thank you very much. I want peace in Ethiopia. Peace in the Lord. Thank you very much. Peace.